Well, hello, good morning. Happy Friday to all you guys out in internet land and Trainer Eyes Made Simple community. Coach Rob here. Um, going to take you through a walkthrough of what I know and have discovered about the new meal tracking process and hopefully that will alleviate a lot of the frustration and confusion and questions I've seen across several different groups. Um, and I'm, I'm making this because it's it's spread across different places. I want you guys to have a, a nice clear walk through and understanding. You'll notice on my screen, I've got both my web platform and a screen projection of um, my mobile because we have to walk through both of these things. That might be part of why there's confusion going on. It's not a real simple setup. There's actually a couple of steps to it and some of it in fact depends on our clients. So first and foremost, um, you gotta turn it on for your business. So for those who haven't or are still frustrated trying to figure out how, on the web, you need to go to your add-ons tab, which we're already on, and then in the selection list, you need to go to integrations. In the integrations list, over near the bottom, there's the beta labs area, and there's your meal and photos tracker. You know, Go ahead and read the write-up, click this link in order to join the Facebook beta group for the nutrition meal tracking implementation. Um, but if you have not turned it on, this box will say enable. So you'll wanna click it if you wanna turn it on for your business. If it says disable, like mine does, you've already turned it on and that's done. Nothing else to do as far as you running your business. Now from here, we're gonna jump over to the app because it's different. So on the app, we're gonna first look at it as a client. So this is my app home screen. I have a group that's my fitness. This is all the stuff I use for my fitness and mo most of it is what we use with our, our clients as well. So I'm gonna click on the fitness app and the way we have things run because we're Android and we have a custom app, I'm able to log in as a coach in my custom app and have the native Trainerize app because they're two different apps according to Android. You guys that are Apple, Apple doesn't work that way. Um, you actually have to have a, uh, a studio app with your own listing and all that kind of stuff in order to be able to do that. But to my point here, um, I'm gonna click here to get to the dashboard. So this is my client account. This is my stuff, my data. We're on the dashboard. The first thing the client needs to do well, first off, to understand, if you have a nutrition goal set up for your client where you're assigning calories or macros or, or whatever, but if you've set that up, the native default setting for meal tracking is going to be meal logging through that app, either MyFitnessPal or Fitbit. If they want to do photos, they're going to have to do this process, I'm going to show you here in a second, to switch to photos. On the other side, if you do not have nutrition goals set up, you're not assigning calories, tracking macros, food logging through any of those things, then when you turn that on, your client is automatically going to be triggered and set up for photos. So now, how does your client make that adjustment? Your client makes that adjustment by going down here to these three ellipses, um, and Trainerize, I believe, calls it more. Sometimes I refer to it as settings, but this is how you get to your settings. So... This is my settings area. If we scroll down, you're gonna see an area under my settings called meal tracker. Your client clicks on the meal tracker and you can see right now I'm set up to do meal photos. If I wanna do meal tracking, I click that and then that opens up the meal tracker to select your preferred tracking source. So right there, I've just set that up and then I will go back to my home screen. So my meal tracking right now is set up for meal logging. So now when I click the plus button, which you can get to from a couple of different scenes, as a client, I get this meal icon because we turned on meal tracking, this is on now. So now that we go here, it opens up my Fitbit, which for those of us who have been here for a while, we know that this is actually um, what we used to have a while back but from here what we get to do is go down I've already you know walked through this a little bit but I'm gonna click here 
and I've just got a couple of things. I'm gonna do a taco as my lunch. I'll have to delete this later because I'm actually not having tacos for lunch. Log this. So that's logged. So now I'm gonna back out and back out again. Now I'm back into my Trainerize app. So now as a coach, what do I get to see? So I just popped over. I'm gonna refresh the screen because it needs to log the second meal now. So here I am on the, you know, my coach client screen here, and I'm looking here. I've logged 1,065 calories over two meals. So taking a look at this screen here, I want to dive into something here. I've also seen a lot of people frustrated or complaining about the way the web looks. I don't know if they're still talking about the way it was when Trainerize first rolled out this meal tracking and all we had was like one meal, two meal, five meals, and that was it. Yeah, that was bad. That was a trip. They implemented the change a week later to enhance this. So now what we have, and this is why I need help from you guys who don't like this view to help me understand, it's everything we used to have prior to that and then some. The way it used to be prior to the implementation, it used to just say 1,065 calories, 595, and that's it. It didn't give us any other information, and if we hovered over it, it didn't give us any information. We clicked on it to get our food details. Now what happens is we not only get, on days that food is logged, we get a total calorie count and the number of meals. I personally think that's enhanced information. It's, it's nice for me to know. But also, if you hover over it, sometimes this is all I need to see. If I need to see more, all I need to do is click on it. It gives me the same information as prior. So it's I don't have targets set for myself, so you're not going to see that readout here at all. Um, and then it, it gives the full breakout here, you know, and then you can click here to expand each food. So I like the collapse view personally. I know this might be an area a lot of people don't like, but because we coach blood sugar control style approach, which is like a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, a dinner, and sometimes a snack after that. Um, I like it collapse because that's a lot of stuff and I only want to see what I want to see. Um, other people might want it to open up fully expanded and be able to scroll through things. So I, I can understand that. But other than that, the web view is enhanced, um, and I, I think that's cool. But, you know, kind of moving on. If it's a, a day that was done with photos, yeah, all you're going to see is five meals because a photo, it doesn't have any artificial intelligence to scan and tell you what's there. So there's no food uh, details, but there are pictures. So when you do the pictures, I mean, all you got to do, if you click on it, it doesn't pop up, and I understand that... <laughs> These don't do much, but if you right click, open the image in a new tab, now you get to see the detail. So it's a click and a go, um, but still, and, and this is really what we were having that day. It's, it's uh, tofu, um, zucchini, and um, I forget the type of noodles and some sliced carrots and stuff. It's, my wife could explain it probably um, chef style because she's a fitness chef and um, I get to eat very well because of her, but that's all I know is it was good and um, <laughs> I took a picture of it. Uh, so that's what you get to see as a coach on the web. So back over here, if um, I want to do photos instead of meal logging, I go to the ellipses, I scroll down to meal tracker, I need to click photos. It automatically saves. It's undone from meal logging and something I did discover I, uh, in testing this out for this video, I actually, I thought I had tested this completely through. I apparently didn't. You cannot have meal photos and food logging on the same day. So I apologize, my fault for that. Um, I, I know I went through and logged food and did pictures. I apparently didn't save both of them on the same day and I, I made that miss, so you cannot. I just tried it a few minutes ago, and I'll show you right now. You cannot do them both. So I've already logged a meal in meal logging. I've now switched to photos. So now I'm gonna click here, 
I'm gonna go to meal. It's gonna activate my camera. And we just adopted two little kitties. I can't zoom in, so I'm just gonna hold that up and take a picture. That's the view from my desk. All right, so my big issue with this program is when I first started testing this, I did not know there's a text entry behind here. And there is. I only found that out when I started coming through and testing it. But if I click this down, now you can see there's food. But the second I click in here, it pops up and goes away. So you can't see what you're typing, which to me is kind of a big deal. So I can hit test. And I have to hit the down arrow to see test. And now you're going to see if I go click to save it, it won't let me do it. You can't track a meal when there's already a meal sync from another source. So there you go. I somehow did not take the final step in testing that. Um, my mistake. I apologize. I've posted in a couple of forums. Um, and I know specifically addressing, uh, I believe, two of you that you can. You cannot. Um, so I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna discard that and X out of this. So we're back in here. I could definitely do it on a different day. Um, or you can have people send pictures another way, but they're not connected. Uh, unfortunate, but that is the way it works. And then working from here, let's uh, go back out of here and go back to my home page real quickly. As a coach, let's see what happens over here. So if I open up as a coach, you know, go to home profile, click my clients, go to my clients. This is my client page right here. Um, what do I need to do? I need to go to their, oh, I need to open. There we go. So Here's this, so let's see what happens if I click two meals added. So it's still the same action um, from a mobile. And then of course, if you slide, swipe or whatever it is, then you get to see the details. So same, same, you know, you can add the comments back like that. So let's get out of here. Let's go to my calendar and let's go back to a, um, there you go, one meal added. So we'll see as a coach what it looks like. So there you go, that one meal added. You can either copy it to another day or delete it. You can't enhance it. If I click on it, there's the food. And then copy to another day or whatnot. I can add a comment, I believe. Blah, blah, blah. So comment back. Rob's going to be very confused with that comment. He has no idea what it means. Um, but. The meal looked pretty good. So we can we can go back like that. And then for a day that has multiple pictures, five meals added. So that, that's what you see on your phone. If you click it, it expands out. Um, so one thing is let's go back to my home page. Let's go back to that. five days added, sorry for the extra time here. There you go, five meals added, if I click that, it still opens to the same thing. So it's a pretty clean operation from the coach's view, which we're looking at right now. This is me as a coach, logged in, looking at a client. And pop out of there, get back to home, now that matters. So you, you can see that that's how things go. I hope this answer walks you through, one, how to set it up for your business, period. Secondly, how to walk your clients through how to switch in and out and what their default settings are. If you have a nutrition goal set, they're gonna be able to log directly. They'll have to switch into photos if they wanna do that. If you don't have a nutrition goal, they'll be set up to take photos. You'll have to get them set up to do meal logging the same as always before. How to read it on your client's web, and on the mobile, how to click in and out and, and take a look and survey the meals. Um, if, if you have any other questions or we need to have further conversation, let's please keep everything in this thread 
so that we can keep a focused conversation. And I'll pop in and out um, either later today or over the weekend. And hopefully, you know, by today or the end of this weekend, everyone who's wanting to use this process understands how to use it. It's a smooth, easy flow. And um, we, we can play with this until beta two comes out when we're gonna be hit with some new cool enhanced stuff that yet again, we'll need to learn how to use. So again, keeping this short, letting you guys get going on your Friday. Have a fabulous day and weekend. Coach Rob, over and out. I'll see you guys in the forum.